So, Fred, thanks for having us in your house. Tell us You're about welcome. being reunited with Otto last night. Okay. Uh, last night, being able to see Otto for the first time in, gosh, I bet it's 18 months. It was, it was fantastic. Um, you know, Otto's not in great shape right now, and he's been through a real tough time, and it's great to have him with us, and I'm very proud of him. Do you know what happened to him in North Korea? I, I don't. And, and so watching his confession and seeing the things that we've seen in North Korea, which none of which was true, and, yes. then, and then hearing what I think was they said with Otto, apparently um, the day after he was sentenced, he went into a coma for whatever, you know, some for some reason, um, I don't have any particulars. Um, I, I wouldn't, I would take that. I wouldn't trust that. W listen, Tucker, Otto had been terrorized and brutalized for 18 months by a pariah regime in North Korea. Yes. We're thrilled to have him home. I bet you He's are. with his family. His mom is with him right now, and I'll be with him later on today. Has the U.S. government helped you along the way during this process? I hesitate. They have, and I have to really thank Joe Yoon. And so he was, uh, he was, he got involved, I don't know when, a month or two ago, contacted us and, and said he was going to work for us, and his mission was to bring Otto home. And who is Joe Yoon? Joe Yoon is, a, um, is an ambassador in the State Department. I believe he took over for Ambassador King. And... Um, very helpful to Cindy and I, and, and we are really thankful for him. And we're also thankful to Rex Tillerson and to President Trump. They, they wanted Otto home, and I believe, Cindy and I believe they made this happen. So we're thankful for that. So you said that once this process is over the next couple of days, you hope to get back to being a family and living a conventional life. What do you think the lessons of this are, your son's captivity in North Korea? Why did this happen? being in the wrong place. I, the lessons of, of Otto's captivity in North Korea, that's going to be for others to decide. Uh, the Warmbeers are, have been living with this situation for 18 months. There's no meaning here. This is a rogue pariah regime. Uh, they're terrorists. They're, they're brutal. There's no sense to anything here. They're, uh, this, they've crossed a line with my son Otto, and so you, it, would be, it would be very difficult to look for a lesson here amongst this insanity. So there, that, I'm not looking for a lesson. I, I, wanna, I want to support Otto. Yes. I want to support my other children, my community. I'm proud of the way everybody's handled this. and. I'm, I'm so grateful that Otto's with us. He's with people who love him now. That means a lot to us. Of course. How's your family holding up after all this time? We're, we're, doing, we're doing okay. Um, I worry about Cindy a little bit. I think she worries about me. Um, we're taking it a moment at a time, a day at a time. And uh, we're going to support each other like we agreed to do all this, and we're, we're adjusting right now. We're adjusting to, to a different reality, and it's, it was one that I didn't know about. We, didn't, we found out about this Tuesday night a uh, week ago of Otto's condition by, by, via a phone call from Joe Yoon. And then we got, Cindy and I, we felt shock that we have not felt in a long time. And we're still going through that, but Otto's with us. And that's really the important thing here. He's an amazing kid. Yes. And we're fortunate that we live in an amazing community, people that support us and love and care for us. So you found out on Tuesday just out of the blue? There were some meetings between, uh, we'll call it the State Department and North Korea, some diplomatic meetings in other countries. Yes. And, and, and quite honestly, they wanted to know about Otto. 
And there was nothing forthcoming, and I'm sure it was not going to move forward unless they talked about Otto. So I think that, I think that our government forced North Korea's hand and made them uh, admit Otto's situation. There are other Americans being held in North Korea, apparently, at least three, maybe more. Yes. Do you have advice for their families? No. No, I would not. Um, I, I can't recommend any. I can't. I don't know what to say. Um, I, I wouldn't know what to say to them. I'm, uh, they can use us as an example, and, and they can make their own decisions. We tried to do the right thing, and, and, and here we are today. So I don't know what the answers are. I, I, this is, I've been told not precedented. Otto's situation, yes. Otto's treatment by the North Koreans is unprecedented. So I don't have advice for anybody. You're a wise man. Thank you, Fred. You're welcome.